Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Triassic Tours. Now for today's tour, we're on our Isla Muerta Park for Return to Jurassic World. And we're here at the um, hatcheries, so with you knowing where we are, let's have a little look around. First we need to turn this way, then follow the path, you know, we're not savages cutting through corners, and then we need to go down. Please, no sliding or rolling, especially the rolling part, because, oh my god, you'll want to, you, you won't feel good at the end. Trust me, I've tested it, it didn't work. And we could go, um, straight and then left to the rest of the park, but we're going to go first to this way. And of course you can see the aviary over here, but there's something far more clever and chaotic. And if there's a storm, I can guarantee 100% these guys will break out. They are... somewhere... Uh... Come on. They're in the tall grass. They're in the tall grass. I mean, it's long grass in the movie, but... Duh. Let's raise it up. Ah, yes. It is the Velociraptors. Now, I've added a lot more. I think there's um, six in here now. Probably two of them are going to die soon, though. And we have, like, the big one. They are all the um, 1993 skin. I was tempted to put in one that's the Lost World, but I decided against it. Besides, I literally just created them for this video. Yes, you will destroy this park if a storm comes in. But right now, you'll fight amongst each other. And with that, we'll get out of here, leave you guys be to settle your differences. And then we'll go all the- up oh, balls, there's the storm. Might have to- I'm probably gonna have to- Um, we're just gonna have to speed this on. So you just go through the path here. Some- there's gonna be things that break out, guys. So if something breaks out, then I'm going to have to, um, put a pause to this and then fix it. But- we continue to go here, and then we'll go up here. If you go all the way up here, and seriously, do not roll off this. This is bad. We have a little guest hub, a little circle with a little island, a little signature I like to do in all my parks. I don't know why, it just looks real cool. You got toilet, restaurant, clothes shop, fossil zone, which still think that they're a little too cheap here. Why is it... I only have to, I can only make them pay up to $35, but in the real world I have to pay thousands of dollars to get a fossil. Unbelievable. And we got a bar. And of course the monorail that goes to the guest station. So let's go back down, and then we'll look at the rest of Wu's um, facilities. Now there are multiple enclosures here. Some of them are just for holding um, dinosaurs like the first one which is right over here other ones will be i sort of have tested made to like test like certain things like for example the vehicles in different terrains there's an enclosure filled just with water one with like rocks one full of trees and then one with um many dinosaurs but this one's just like a dinosaur testing the skin gene that Wu implemented, and he tested it on the Metricanthosaurus, two of them to be precise, and I believe these are the, um, what are they, they're either the Vibrant, uh, I think it's the Vibrant, I'm pretty sure, and they're, they're fighting, they're always fighting him, and he also sounds kind of like he's burping, but we'll leave them to burp. But also, we need to um, go and check out the labs and stuff. This is highly restricted, folks. Wu barely... I barely was able to convince Wu to let me show you. So we got a lineup of stuff. We got security, science, a concrete wall, um, a... paleobotany center, a greenhouse... We've got an ACU, and we've got over here is just a bunch of, um, um, ACU, 
CU ground troops, or the rangers, and each um, facility has different vehicles, sort of testing out the strength of all of them and seeing which one's the best. We've got the red, red one, we've got the reds, we've got the blues, we've got the basics, and of course, the Pierce of Resistance, the 1992 Jeep Wrangler Sahara Sand Bays. Even though it says 1993, but the Jeeps that were used in the movie were made in 1992. So get it right, guys. And all of the remaining closures are for testing those vehicles out. And the first one holds the Heavy Claw themselves, the Baryonyx. Oh, and one's um, shaking his head like, nope, I didn't do it. I'm pretty sure he's stuck in an animation loop or something. Happens a lot. He's like, no, no, I am not, I am good. Um, I can't remember what I... Oh, it almost stopped. I cannot remember their names. I don't think that one has a name. But this one is... I think I named... What did I name it? So sorry guys, I had to deal with the disease and stuff, and they were glitched out. And this one's name is Bruce. Even though, if I were thinking of um, the cannon, this one could definitely be named, um, possibly, um, Lemon because his skin pattern, this, um, skin pattern, uh-oh, it's coming for me. This skin pattern is very similar to, um, one of the very uh, that'll be appearing in Camp Cretaceous Season 2. This one would definitely be Chaos. Unfortunately, no Grimm's skin for Gr Grimm, which is the other one. But, let's, uh, it's probably another dinosaur sick or low health. Oh, God, trees! Help! Let me out! Oh, thank God, I can't breathe. Alright, so, yep, here's the, um, water enclosure, which I opened up for the Baryonyx so their water needs would be m met. Because them breaking out a bunch would not be helpful. But, in here is the rocky section, which holds the rockiest of dinosaurs, and also they're both in going to three sections, the Ankylosaurus. And, but, I have had the 2001 version and the um, basic, aka 2015 versions of the Ankylosaurus showing that Wu is working on modifying them better for, um, I don't know, the public or something. I don't know what was wrong with that one. Besides, it used too much makeup on its, um, cheeks to make them all rosy. But here is where the bigger boys are. And, um, are they over here? Well, is he over here? Because sadly, when I, in my episode, uh, what was it? I think it was, yeah, it was eight. Um, one of them was killed, and it was not the one that I named, which this is Gumbo, the Giganotosaurus, even though he's kind of a little shaky. You got, you got something to say to me, Gumbo? I see. Yeah, your neighbor killed, killed, um, your friend. Because there was a huge storm, and, um... The um, final um, dinosaur, which is the biggest, the baddest, and could kill everything if it's a one in one, the Indominus Rex. His name is Steven. Why? Because that's my cousin's name, and I always like giving unique a unique name to each dinosaur, and it was the one, first thing that came to my mind, because Rodrigo was taken for Indoraptor. Now, this was added just like in the in episode 8 as well, literally just because I realized that the one thing I would be missing when I finished this island was a hybrid because it was the main reason Wu was here. Also, he also worked on the um, diseases that that's what um, the public knew at least. Yes, you were his creation. And also mine. But... He, um, killed, um, the other Giga. Luckily, it was the one that didn't have a name. But, we leave the restricted zone, and we'll just hop on this monorail, so... Hold on, we need to catch a ride. Duh. Which way is it going? Uh, Let's just, uh, drop down here. 
and uh, oh yeah, we take the stop down here, and we get to the guest area, which over here is like all the like facilities and um, hotel. Make your reservations, of course. Recommend, highly recommend it. You don't want to be sleeping outside. Trust me. In, and we have two enclosures here with some um, proper viewing. Nope. Even though, oh, somebody just teleported inside, and he's looking completely the wrong way. They're looking all the way up into the sky. So no it, birds here. But in this one, we have the Sinoceratops, or Sinoceratops, whichever one that you guys prefer, and the Carithosaurus. And a lot of them. Jimmy Christmas. And apparently a broken jeep. So, we know that this one is not worthy of the herbivores. Probably was killed, destroyed by a Sinoceratops. Who uh, they're counseling. How do we stop this guy from doing this video? But, you cannot stop what is inevitable. In the next enclosure is the Allosaurus. And also with this Allosaurus of Coastal, you can also see that we have some little tiny Compsognathus. And I'm pretty sure we have like 20 of them in here. No, not 20, because that would exceed his limit. I think his limit is 16, so that means there's 15 in here. So I was a little bit sh short. But if we go back he here, you, you can see that... um. I've made it so that, like, there's a little path that goes around and stuff. Oh, God. Up a little, Austin. Up. That way you can go around. Trees planted. Water. And sorry for making you guys sick. I'm making myself sick, too. But we'll just take the monorail and go and look at the final section. Which, this section was a little bit tricky. And we weren't able to get, like, 100% 5 stars, even though... It basically is a five star. Literally, if I put one hotel in, like, a space that it could fit, like, if all the way over there, if there was a hotel, um, right in the section where the Indominus Rex is, where it's close enough to the guest facilities and then one viewing tower that looks at least two of the dinosaurs, I would have five stars. Not even joke. Oh, God, train! It's, I mean, monorail, it's gonna hit us. But, oh, well. We didn't need the five stars. If I, if I, if you guys really demand I'll, for me to make a five stars, fine. I will put another hotel over there, even though that goes against what that part's supposed to be. But if we get down, you can see you got a, the triple lineup of hotels. Make your reservations at one of them, not all three, because then you're going to pay three times for only one bedroom. Unless you are doing something that we're not going to discuss, because this is a PG channel. You get your toilets, restaurants, um, fast food as well, in case you like McDonald's. Well, yeah. Fossil Zone again. Another. Oh no, that's the clothes shop. That's the restaurant. And that's the Jurassic Tour. But first, we're gonna look at these guys. Um, which these guys, both dinosaurs in here, have been in the videos before, except in this case. I changed it so that they would be in an enclosure. And as you could see, there was one, and there is two. It is the Dilophosaurus, which looks beautiful in that vibrant skin. I love the green. It looks so toxic. And then there's the Ankylosaurus. 2001 pattern again. Because, as we I mentioned, the 2015 version is like the new version, which would be implemented eventually into the park, but not now because we finished. And then in the Redwood Park, if we take the Jurassic Tour, please, please, oh god, I missed. Um, if we go down, you can see, da 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 da, that's a lot of Iguandons and Struthiomimus, but wait, wait, but wait, there's something else. Somewhere. We go a little. Where the where the bloody heck are they? Uh, I seem to misplace some di three very long, very tall dinosaurs. Oh, there's one. The Diplodocus as well. Three of them to be precise. <coughs> With 
a dopey little face. Don't ask him. And of course, they've got their redwood trees, some rocks, paleo feeders, and a whole lot of the Guandans who's got the biggest thumbs that could impale a skull. You know, the usual things. Don't ask him. He didn't. It's called evolution, folks. And if we go uh, up, 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 and away. Don't blame me, guys. I'm recording this near Christmas, so I have to get the holidays ready. Which, speaking of which, guys, I have a Christmas present that I'm working on for you guys. And stop giving me notifications of things dying or something. I will deal with it as soon as possible. And we need to go... And boom. There is the whole park. It looks so huge. Like, I'm pretty sure that um, Muerta is like the second biggest of the five deaths that you can build on. It's either this or Tacanya, that second biggest. Sorna is definitely the biggest for sure. Which will be starting Isla Tacanya. In a little bit. Definitely after Christmas, guys. Like, probably in January, because my Christmas gift is going to be a lot of content, guys. Like, pretty sure there's going to be, um, eight videos, possibly. Maybe more, depending on what happens Christmas Day. But, if you've enjoyed this tour, leave a like. And until next, if you, oh, and if you want to join the hunt and help support this channel a little bit more, as well as get more content for you guys, hit the subscribe button. Be safe, and until next time, I'll see you later. Bye bye